Hey everybody, today we're going to be revisiting the Kelly Turner case. Now, for those that might have forgotten about this when I'm not sure of it, this is the case of Kelly Turner. The victim is Olivia Gaunt, that is her daughter, her little seven-year-old daughter. Uh, this is another case very similar to Gypsy Rose Blanchard case. These cases are evolved around a syndrome which is known as Munchausen syndrome by proxy. Essentially what this is, is somebody decides, and in these cases the mothers are using their daughters and getting unnecessary necessary medical treatment for them and using it as almost like a form of attention to get things. Uh, it is extremely dangerous, extremely harmful, extremely toxic, and time and time again we see these same similarities. Now Kelly Turner did this to her daughter Olivia uh, and, and unfortunately she, her daughter Olivia lost her battle to her mother and so we're going to talk about what the family is now doing uh, to kind of combat parts of this with the hospitals and the people who are providing care. So the state of Olivia, her family members, they are filing suit against the Colorado Children's Hospital for up to $25 million. There are some other places they're filing suit against as well, and we'll get to those in a minute. Remember, like I said, little Olivia was only seven years old when her mother took her life. Uh, Kelly Turner is the mother. She is now charged with that, and she is sitting in jail. Now, Olivia, along with her mother and their siblings, they moved to Colorado from Texas. And again, don't we see this pattern? We saw the same thing in the Gypsy Rose Blanchard story where they moved coming from New Orleans saying, oh, we lost all the medical records and, you know, the big hurricane and uh, we're starting over. And what I think happens is these people, they get, somebody figures them out, whether it's the hospitals or churches or whoever they're scamming and they have to go somewhere new. Now, we don't know for sure right now if that's exactly why Kelly went to Colorado from Texas, but there's definitely signs of this being very similar to the other cases that we see. Now, Kelly also had a criminal record that was never really looked into by anybody. Now some of the charges that she had were felony abuse to a child, impersonating a medical technician, and forgery. Now back in 2012 is when Kelly initially took Olivia to the children's hospital there uh, with problems about constipation. Now just from that, just from this initial issue of constipation, this would result in like over a thousand visits over five years years, numerous surgery, numerous unnecessary drugs, you name it. So like I said, it's not just the Colorado Children's Hospital that they're suing. They're also going to be suing the University of Colorado, which is who employs the hospital staff, the University of Colorado's Hospital Authority, as well as Denver Hospice. Now in this lawsuit, the notice for the lawsuit, you know, the family's basically saying, look, if these places had number one looked into her criminal record, if they had looked at her blog site about fundraising, if they had looked into her medical history in Texas. None of the mother's accusations about Olivia's health, which included like autism, tumors, I mean, the list goes on. They're like, they would have found out that none of this is true. Now in this notice, it's also saying that Medicaid was billed over a million dollars and allegedly unnecessary medical procedures. Now also what's even worse, and this is another just gut-wrenching aspect of this case to me, the lawsuit is saying that during hospital ethics meetings that there was like talk about, look, do we continue doing this? Because apparently there were people there that did not think that this stuff was real. Like they were kind of on to the mother. But in the end, that idea was next. So it's one of those aspects where I'm like, really? You actually have meetings over this and you're deciding like, look, this doesn't seem right. But nonetheless, it goes forward. It just, it's so gut-wrenching. Now, just like we saw with Gypsy Rose Blanchard, little Olivia had a feeding tube as well. So the lawsuit is alleging that the mother at one point is like, look, she needs to be taken off of her feeding tube and sent to hospice because she has terminal symptoms. Now, allegedly only one doctor refused this, but other doctors went along with it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How does this go unchecked? Now, it is just coincidence that Kelly had a bucket list for Olivia. And at this point in time is when she enacted that. One of these things was a party put on by Make-A-Wish Foundation. This was basically like a bat princess party. And they put this on for her. Now, Make-A-Wish is basically like, look, we can only go based on what like the ch child's medical team is saying. You know, we're not making diagnoses. We, you know, we can only go based on what we're told. Now, once that part was over, once that part of Kelly's scam was over, this is when Olivia is officially put into hospice and the feeding tube is removed. On poor little Olivia's 
death certificate, it's going to say that, you know, the issues that she had going on were autism, seizure disorder, and chronic intestinal failure. Now, this lawsuit, though, it's like uh, she didn't have any of that stuff. The lawsuit calls it out for what it is. The lawsuit says that, no, Olivia died of medical child abuse, and this resulted in medically ordered starvation and narcotics overdose. Now, apparently during this time where she was in there, her family was saying that they were told, oh, she's sleepy because of, you know, the drug she's on and this and that. You know, but even one thing that the lawsuit said is that her grandfather said that Olivia would say, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And I'm like, oh my God, that is horrible. Y'all, this is one lawsuit where I'm like, absolutely. I want to know how this child went under the radar with all of these different facilities, all these different doctors, all these people who were having meetings, you know, saying, look, we think something's up. How did this happen? How did people okay taking this child's feeding tube out? I mean, I'm like, are you kidding me? So I think that the family should probably sue for double that, to be quite honest. You know, this is a complete travesty. And again, this is all alleged right now, you know, that has not gone to trial. So we're going to say that, you know, but we, I'm dying to see what are the facts of the case and I want to see how Kelly got away with this in Texas and Colorado so that hopefully it can prevent this from continuing to happen to someone else because like I said look at the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case it's so similar to this so many different things Obviously, the ending was a little bit different, but regardless, we'll keep our eyes on this one. If you want to watch any more of my commentary on cases like this or other ones, just click the videos that are popping up. I appreciate you watching.